I want to welcome, welcome you all to my channel. <laughs> Yo, let me tell you something for real, man. It's not a joking matter. It's not a jokingly matter, you know what I'm saying? But I'm seeing our society do this. That plain and simple. The reason why I'm saying that is because you know, our form of communication nowadays is via texting or email. Hell, you even have people, you know, that scam, you know, you know, those 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 uh, telemarketers that, that scam you and all of that stuff, try to get money out of you. You know what I'm saying? They don't even call you anymore. They text you or email you. It's crazy. It's gotten to the point where even scammers are texting, testing you, texting you and emailing you and not calling you. And it's crazy to me. Where did we, you know, get to the point where we're not communicating with each other verbally? Is the question. When did it get to this point? You understand? Like, are we being led by a hidden agenda? Because last time I really checked, the way AI and computers connect with one another is texting human beings natural born human beings not artificial ones communicate our form of communication is speech talking being verbal with one another but nowadays we're not doing that and I can't wait until Charlotte makes it a law where you can't text and drive. You know how many times I've seen this when I'm going down 77, for those that are familiar with Charlotte, going down 77 to 485, someone's in front of me or beside me that's swerving back and forth or going lower than the speed limit. And then once I pass them, what they're doing, they're on their phone texting where they should be driving. You know how many car accidents have happened throughout the United States, let alone the world, because someone was, was, was texting instead of driving? Which makes no sense to me, because nowadays, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm seeing people texting while they're driving brand new cars. Nowadays, you have hands-free, where you could just connect your phone, Bluetooth it, connect your phone, to, to your car and you can verbally talk to someone but we don't have time for that but we do have time to text one another which makes no sense to me for real want to know why because it takes longer for you to text someone rather than calling someone up in your contacts pushing a button and verbally talking to one to someone but see we don't have time for that we don't have time for that and it's gotten to the point where I've came to the conclusion that some of my friends and family don't think that I'm worthy enough for a phone call. Yeah, I'm good for a text, but not a phone call. Do you know how many fan, friend, family and friends, and I'm not going to call them out. I'm not going to do that. That I've text, like we've texted one another, but I haven't verbally heard from them in months which is crazy to me. And I have a rule, for real. This is this is a rule that oftentimes my friends and family, um, family uh, members break. But I have a rule. If you're over 30 years old and you're texting me, I don't want to hear from you via text. I want you to call me. You want to know why? Because for, for someone that was born, well, excuse me, for those that, that, or from the age of 30 on up, you 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 knew of a time where there were weren't really like smartphones. For real. 
you, you had, we had cell phones and, and oftentimes we used it. We didn't really text like that. And if you want to take it back further, like if you're in your 40s on up, if you're a gen, if you're part of the Generation X, you remember a time where we, where we had just beepers and we had to stop at a payphone to talk to someone. Or we just would call one, one another. We had landlines. Most people don't have that nowadays. We, most people don't have home phones now, phones nowadays, which makes no sense to me. When has it gotten to the point where we, as a society, no longer can um, communicate with one another verbally? I hate it when people text me. Straight up. I hate it when people text me. You know what I'm saying? So so let, 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 let me get everything. Let me clear everything out. You know what I'm saying? So some people may say, well, you know what? I text you because... You know, you may be doing something and calling you may interrupt what you're doing. But don't you understand when you're texting me and it's long paragraphs and you're you're shortening the paragraph. So you text me, you got a, one text and then a second text and a third and a fourth. Do you understand that that no matter if I if I, I put it on vibrate, no matter if I I um ignore it, no matter if I just turn it off completely. Right. With the exception of just turning just turning everything off you know what I'm saying but just like putting on silent when there's no vibration and nothing it still pops up regardless you're still interrupting me unless I completely turn the phone on or disconnect it from the um, text period but I shouldn't have to do that if you have something to say to me call me that plain and simple I'm worth the time that you're taking out to call me and if I'm not available right leave a voicemail but see we don't do that nowadays we we don't have time for that and oftentimes I may call someone and you know what I get you have reached or you automatically hang up on me on the first ring so now I'm forced to text you because this is your method or way of way of communicating with me So now I got to text you and in order to, to, because words don't have emotions. So that's the reason why they came out with what? Emojis. Do you hear the phonetics? Emojis, emotions. So now if I'm, if I'm texting you and I'm happy about something, I got to put up a, a smiley face. You know what I'm saying? I got to put L-M-A-O or L-O-L. I don't want to do any of that. I don't need to do. I don't feel that I need to do that. Because all I have to do is just call you. And you can hear it in my voice. If I'm happy or I'm sad. What are we? Pre what, what are we? We in preschool now? We're little kids. We're little babies now. Straight up. Because the last time I checked. Only little kids and babies use emojis and stuff like that. Why, why are adults doing that? Straight up, that's real to me. You know, some of you all may sit back and say, well, you know, I'm scared of the future. You know, I don't want to get the micro chip and this and that and so forth. And I don't want to merge myself with, and you know, I don't want it to be an emergence of the man meets machine. But that's where we're headed to. That's where we're headed to. Don't you understand you're part of the agenda? If there is an agenda, you're part of it. You're part of that agenda because you no longer communicate verbally with one another anymore. Everything is texting. And if 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 you you'll say, hey, you know what, give me a you know, text me. Oh, if you don't, so the other option is email me. Where's the third option? Or where's the, the option that should be first? Is give me a call. That plain and simple. Why have we failed? Why have we? Well, we failed for us communicating with one another. But why haven't we included verbally talking to one another as an option of communication? And don't give me that BS, Langston. You old school. 
and this is the way we do it now. And blah, say, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Okay. So you're part of the so-called agenda. And I say so-called agenda because it's obvious that sooner than later, man will merge into machine. That's obvious. You all are biting at the bait. You understand? You all can't wait to be part of the metaverse. A virtual world where you can be whoever you want to be. But you can be whoever you want to be in real life. As long as you put your mind, heart, and soul into it. And this is the point that I'm making. We are literally robots and not even realizing. You talking about you don't want to Merging with in, in, in with machine, what, what really you are now? Because your form of communication is a smartphone, and not realizing that that smartphone is making you dumb. Straight up, the more money I make, the more I want to separate myself from technology. I want to be able to use technology. When I need to, if and when I need to, and then after that, I want to step away from it because I see what it's doing to my friends and my family, family, my family members. I see what it's doing to society. Technology supposed to be, you know what I'm saying? Helpful, useful, but that's not what's, what's going on in this world, in this day and time. Te te technology is destroying our minds. You, you truly think that you're smart. You know what I'm saying? Because you have all of the information. You know, the, what is it? The age of Aquarius. You know what I'm saying? Where information and knowledge is in abundance. You know, it's at, the, at, at, at your fingertips. You know what I'm saying? Whereas in the 90s, we had to go to the library and we had to research upon research upon research. So you think that you're smarter because you have, you know, knowledge and information at arm's reach. But guess what? Technology has made you dumber. Dumb. It really has. Back in the days, we had to research. We had to have uh, uh, um, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, of of, of um, family families in their houses. They had encyclopedias. We had to read and research. We we didn't have Google. And I'm glad that we didn't because I see what technology is doing. I see what the internet is doing to us as a people. I see what the World Wide Web is doing to us as a people. It's destroying our minds and we can't even see it. Straight up. If you are a family member of mine you're a friend of mine and you're looking at this I'm going to get real strict on what I believe and I believe that texting is no good so sooner than later I'm going to stop replying to your text for real if you cannot call me then you're a waste of my time Because I'm not going to text you anymore. Straight up. I'm just going to stop texting. This is a shame. And I know for some of you all out there. That are looking at this video. I know that you all have stories as well as mine. Where you haven't heard from your family members. Physically heard from them. Because they don't have the time to call you. But yet and still they have the time to text you. This is crazy. I. I'm getting texts from 50, 60 year old men and women. And y'all, <laughs> let's just be real. You know, you all came up with, with those damn phones where you had to go the one, spin it, and then come, girl, go all the way around, two, five. But you busy texting me. Yo. 
I am not empathetic to ignorance. I'm apathetic to ignorance. Straight up. You all are wondering why our society is so heartless and soulless. Because we don't have a heart anymore. Neither do we have a soul. Straight up. When has it gotten, when has it ever gotten to the point where we stop verbally communicating with one another? When has it ever, when has it gotten to the point where we stop expressing, expressing our emotions verbally and replaced the verbal part of, of expressing our emotions with emojis? That's crazy to me. But as usual, Langston's ranting. Langston's from the old school. Langston don't know what he's talking about. So therefore, I'm going to end this video. It's just that plain and simple. I put it out in the open. I forewarned my family members as well as my friends. You continue to text me. And I haven't heard from you all in months verbally on the phone and some of you all in years I'm done don't text me anymore if you can't call me and if you can't call me if I can't verbally hear from you at least this is crazy I it's some people some of my friends and family members I hear from them almost every day or every other day via text but I can't remember the last time I verbally heard your voice on the phone. I'm done. If you can't call me, you got to text me. Don't text me and don't call me at all. That plain and simple. Straight up. I'm worth a text, but not a phone call. My name is Langston2092. I want you to like, comment, subscribe. Definitely share this video.